Hi guys, good evening. Okay, so tonight I'm going to make another video and uh, this will be about depression because um, I saw a video or not really a video but a post sa Tandaganon and uh, the post was about someone who committed suicide and sayang lang jud ang kinabuhi sa eto nga tao kayo. I think bata pa jud siya. He was actually a friend of our office mates. So, naiisa ka empleyado dito sa office na iya hatong friend. So, according to him, bata pa dito to. He is only 20 years old. And he had to um, ba, kanang make sure nga kung tama ba dito yung nabasa dito sa tanda ganun because wala siya siya nag-expect na mag-suicide to iya hong friend. Makasad lang siya because I think that that could have been avoided if only that person was also able to um, open up about his problems sa young friends or family or to those people nga gikonsider niya who are really um, close to him. You know, those people who truly loved and cared for him. So in the Philippines, I think this is still a taboo topic even up until now. Because we don't frequently talk about depression. And what we don't actually realize is that talking about this topic can actually save lives. You know, okay, if other people will be able to watch um, my videos about how to deal with depression, I'm sure na makatabang sa ila on how to, you know, cope and how to deal in such a way nga dili na sila mo about sa point na magpakamatay sila. So, sayang judi ang kinabuhi. Bata pa dyan siya. We only have one life and we should live it according to how God wants us to live it. Okay? Human instinct magod siya. Human instinct jud na mag-survive. So, that's what we should always think of. And um, nowadays, there are a lot of people who are struggling about um, anxiety and depression. And those people are sometimes the people that you wouldn't even think of. depression, And they are just keeping it to themselves because they think that they are alone and they should be um, resolving their own issues by themselves. Which is okay, man, for for you to re try to resolve it just by you know your own efforts. Pero if dili na jud makaya, you should resort to you know opening up the problem to those people na makatabang po sa imo, so that dili ka mo abut sa point na you have to commit suicide. I remembered one friend, and that friend used to be a colleague of mine. And kuan siya, kanang kauban ako siya sa call center before, dito sa Makati City. And for, of course, confidentiality purposes, I will not tell you guys the name of uh, that friend of mine because I also respect his privacy. Pero I know just by uh, talking about this in this video, makalearn po taong something, makalearn taong lessons. So, that friend of mine is actually also a YouTube vlogger. And in most of the videos that he would upload, mag talk siya about, you know, inspiring messages, tapos iyahang mga travel um, escapades, iyahang i-vlog, and also, ganang mga happy, kuan bito, happy content lang. That actually gave us the idea that he is someone who is just always happy. He has this kind of facade that he was able to really project himself as someone who is just easygoing, and Anna, tapos who loves life, and Anna, and what did she? Kanang he's someone na dili ni mo matink na na depression. A few years ago, may tuna ka uban sa kun sa katong ako ang previous sa uh, company because I had to resign na ato ko sa Gawas sa Bangkok, Thailand to work for another call center and 
I thought, because all of a sudden, siya po, murag, na-stop po di yahang vlogging, and I didn't know the reason. So, I thought, murag, busy lang po siya sa yung life. And then one day, na siya yung video nga gi-upload ka itong 2022. Nga na-shock yung kung kay it talked about his depression. And when I um, read about the caption of that video, I got curious. So I watched the entire video. And there, he openly talked about his experience about depression. So when I saw the video, it was like I was really looking at someone na dili na kaila because he was um, totally a different person. He looked totally different from our, how I remembered him. So ayahang buhok, murag ng lagas, ayahang eyebrows, murag nakuan siya ng, ng lagas food. And dili siya healthy tanawun, murag ng agi bitaw siya sakit. So, nasyak ko, oh my God, this person looks so happy the last time I saw him. Tapos, all of a sudden, makita na ko itong iyong video. Na medyo naluoy and na-touch actually ko sa iyang story. Nga feeling na ko, asa ko at nga time? Nga nuwa mo ko na iyagi ikuan? Murag, I, I, I could have helped ba for him not to feel alone? Pero, siguro, na dyan siya yung mga kuan, na siya ka ng sa pabatasan nga uh, he would like to keep his problems to himself. That's why wala dyan siya na open up. So in that video, yun siya, back in 2002, mako na to yung first time na na heartbroken siya. And then five days after ato, mako to ang time na namatay iya ang lola. So his lola is um, a very loving lola. According to him, is actually the favorite apo. And in that video, Murag, he said na um, he was just young at that time, pero he actually regretted the fact that he was not able to uh, show his uh, love and appreciation to her lol to his lola before she died. So mauto yung regrets, pero since yung paman pud siya, he was able to move on after kuan three days sa pud daw ngapuadlo. No accept niya nga, okay, namatay na iyang lola. And then, a few years after that, 2016, na ano po yung nahitabo sa iya, and muragkat to, wala niya gi-elaborate kung sa'yo nahitabo sa iya, but that incident actually made him tanang, uh, made him cry for a month or two. So, kuan siya, kanang, murag naka-apekto po siya sa iyahang, iyahang mental health pa. Pero, he tried his best to just uh, move on. And he thought he did. And then the last straw was in 2021 because that's when his mother died. So, katujud ang breaking point niya. Nga, to the point nga ni Abot na siya, nga nangalaga siya ang buhok, was crying every day for like for the past months, kibali, right after his mother died. Sige siya hilak and wala siya outlet nga makuanan, mataganan. Naara siya sa iyang room, tapos na ang tapoy time nga murag mga ingana. Ingana na bitaw siya. Kaya bitaw mo singgit na siya nga. Oh, may, may gading ana. Tapos, all of a sudden, instead of calling God, according to him, matingaw ka siya kay sa, si Satan na daw iyang ginatawa. Nga murag na ay mga magbulong-bulong sa iya, nga makakos sa iya, more depression and anxiety. Magnaasya ay feeling of having this um, sadness that it might explain within him. So, he knew that he needed someone to help him. That's why he sought for a professional advice. He uh, tried opening up to a profes uh, professional, a therapist, kumbaga, and there, he openly talked about katong time na first na heartbreak siya on sa cause sa iyahang depression. So, at least, he did something to bounce back. So, pila po't kibalit to kakuan, kaman siya, pero murag, 
na siya'y suicidal thoughts pero one good thing about that yung wala dyan siya nang abot sa katong to do the act na kibalik of suiciding or to commit um, or to like cut his own life and that's one good thing about him so, according to him before put siya nag seek of, of advice he tried to talk to someone katong yung gikonsider ng friend and that person actually um, na invalidate yung feelings bitaw feeling niya na invalidate yung feelings because instead of that person comforting him wala niya na feel na worthy ang iyahang pagsulti at ito nga person but he was thinking of opening up to that person pero in return murag, wala bitaw siya gisar yuso okay so I hope Kaning video will also help those people who are uh, experiencing depression and anxiety. Na try to open up dito sa mga tao. You have your friends, you have your colleagues, you have your family, especially your family. You should be open in discussing about your problems. Who knows, diba? You might be able to get some help from those people who truly love and who truly care for you. Of course, sila, makita nila kung unsa ang, ang kuan kibali, impact sa imo sa imong mga problema. And if they're willing to help, I'm sure, tabangan yung kana nila. Also, um, if ikaw bitaw tong friend, kunyari, if you know someone who is struggling and if they, that person will try to open up to you, make sure that you listen to them. Just let them speak. Just let them say whatever they want to say. And try to understand the situation because sometimes they just need someone to listen to them, not really someone who will resolve their issues. Okay, that's just a bonus. Pero having the thought of someone who is willing to listen, it is actually already a big help for those people who are struggling and who are experiencing depression. So don't try to validate what they're feeling. Okay? Sometimes mo pa na usahay ang mga cause sa ila for them to commit suicide, which is not good. So maorato, I hope you guys also learned something from what I shared today. And always remember that we only have one life to live. So live it happily. Live it happily, Jud each and every day of your life. Live life to the fullest. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you guys for listening and for watching this video. Have a good night's sleep. Later. Bye-bye.